fellow baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Cincinnati Reds. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. So the San Diego Padres are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And today's starting pitcher, Luke Weaver. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Ready to go now. Here's the shortstop at the play. Xander Bogarts. The shortstop. Xander Bogarts. The pitch. And a weak ground ball to the left side. The throw to first. One up, one down. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth, one of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Here comes the 0-1. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on first for the out. A well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Here's Machado with six hits in the series coming into this one. That's hard hit on the line. Fraley puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Now it'll be the In now for the Reds, Stuart Fairchild. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. And a strike on the outside edge. And down on strikes he goes. Snap throw. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And first offering is fouled off. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Second inning set to go. Stepping in for San Diego, Juan Soto. And here it comes. On the ground. Boots it. So up next, Nelson Cruz. Three for eight in the series coming in. And ball one to the right fielder. Next one misses. Ball two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swings and misses. Two and one now. Just missed. Oh, 
Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Just two for 11 in the series so far. Popped in the air. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. He's got four hits in the series on nine at-bats. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. On to first, and that is that. For San Diego, we'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And first offering is fouled off. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got it by him for the K. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at-bats and quality at-bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a one-out double for the first hit of the game. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now it's the DH, T.J. Friedel. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. And that's in for a strike. No score here in the second. Up the middle. Bogarts with the throw to first. And that is that. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Hassan Kim. Weaver back to work. Bounce to the right side. Steer. Over to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And now it's Austin Nola. Ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Line drive. Fairchild snags it for the second out. And here is Xander Bogarts. He's 0 for 1. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Singing, you know, Xander Bogarts is actually a twin. His twin brother, Jair, signed with the Red Sox initially and played a little bit in the Boston organization. That's pretty cool. That one ripped. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Bogarts into second. He's been swinging it really well. Lately. Really protecting with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. Now here is ripped on the ground a second. Throw over to Votto, and that is that. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Matt Nelson. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Matt Nelson with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. And it drops in. Throw back in quickly, 
First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Fairchild in the box now, takes strike one. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Late that time, and it's strike two. Swings and misses, struck him out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. The 1-1. And that one fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double. Makes the catch for the second out. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. At the belt and fires. Fouled off left side. Nelson, the lead runner out at second. Steer on at first with two down. He goes down looking. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Manny Machado. Here, the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Padres, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, Wait which is one. fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. That's a laser base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Juan Soto. Right side, hard hit. They get the out on Soto. So digging in, Nelson Cruz. Went down on strikes his first time through. That smash towards center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now the DH for the Padres. Matt Carpenter. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In the air, out towards left center. Racing makes the catch. Out number two. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Grounded out his first time up. To the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. Back here in Cincinnati. Bottom four. And the batter now is Joey Votto. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Reds, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Fraley stands in now and watches strike one. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Next for Cincinnati, Jason Vossler. That one the other way. That's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. 
first pitch swing in went up there with a the plan to be aggressive challenging with the fastball right in the heart of the zone and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Friedel in the box with two gone and takes a look at a cold strike. That's a strike. Got him down to first. So one left. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. And he deals. The other way. Myers takes it in for the out. One down. And here's the catcher, Austin Nola. 0 for 1 so far. And that one pulled foul. The pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. Fairchild makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Here's Xander Bogarts. One for two. Fastball almost got him there. Straightened him up a little bit. Swings and misses. And one and one. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Out there to center. Fairchild makes his way towards it. Nice grab on the run. And that. Back here at Great American Ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Matt Nelson. Pitches in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Here's the 0-2. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Next offering is fouled back. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. The 0-2. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah. And now one and two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice nope. job of staying back and letting ball the ball get deep. Right. And now let's see if they force some action with good Whoa, wheels on the down. bases. Next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. And, hey. and he takes a strike. Fairchild, the runner at first with two gone. No, the next pitch misses, 3-1. and one. He swings and fouls one off. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front. And welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the number two hitter, Jake Cronenworth. Ground ball up the middle. Steer. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. And now it's Manny Machado. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty great year Manny Machado had in 2022. He was the guy that really carried the Padres to the National League Championship Series. Ultimately finished as the runner-up to the National League MVP, Paul Goldschmidt. Squeezes it, and there's one away. Now the youngster wants Soto. Right 
Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. And that one is lifted in the air. Fairchild trots over to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Will Myers. And first offering is fouled off. Bunting for a hit. He pops it up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Well, he gave the bun a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Next offering is fouled back. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Fires across the diamond, and Votto is retired. So two down now, and here is Jake Fraley. In there for strike one. Fraley in his fourth year, 27 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And a big swing and a miss. Kim with the throw to first. Inning over. Back here. The ballpark. New inning getting started. And now the DH. Matt Carpenter. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. Steer. Tosses to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Trent Grisham getting ready to hit. First Whoa. offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and fires. On the ground, Votto. He takes it on his own. And two away to start the seven. Here's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. Out towards left center. Fairchild on the move to the right. Long run, tracks it down. And that's the third. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, TJ Friedel. Up the middle, Bogarts fields it cleanly, and he beats oh, he it. Did. That's a hit. Great try there. If he would have had just a little quicker release going up the middle, he's maybe able to get that out right there. And that's the kind of play that defines the best shortstops between just the average ones. Friedel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Runner on the goal, Kim. Flips it on to Bogarts. On to first, double play. So up next, Spencer Steer. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. In now for the Reds, Stuart Fairchild. And that's in there for strike one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. 
Line drive. Kim. They get the force. And that is the end. Buck Farmer comes. Number on now. He last pitched two days ago. The pitch. Popped up. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Feed to second. That's one. And that's two. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Cronenworth, the ball next to hit, play. takes ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Joel Cunell loosening up for manager David Bell. Next one inside. off the plate inside. Now 2-0. Left hand batter waits. Swing and that ball smashed on a line and makes the grab. And that'll do it. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Robert Suarez. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Soto makes the play, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first yep, hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Machado whips it across, oh. and that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now the 0-1, and it's fouled away. Left-hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the 0-2. Fouls it back with two strikes. The tying run at the plate. Struck him out swinging. He swung. Welcome back, and here... comes the closer, Alexis Diaz. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Machado stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next pitch is downstairs. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Gets it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Watch Soto now. High fly ball out to center field. They get the out on Soto. Two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. That one fouled off. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. That one the other way. And oh. that'll do it. No runs, no hit. Now on the bump, Josh Hader. He's been so good against lefties. Now into the ball game on defense, Jordan Walker. He takes over and right. Fraley in the box now, takes strike one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Jason Vossler. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Drops into the glove, and there's two away. Now at the plate, T.J. Friedel. There's the strike. Just amazing oh, to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Next pitch is inside, and that is ball one. 
Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing, and the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.